to my channel if you're new here my name is Bailey and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys my homemade dog food recipes so you guys really seem to love all of my dog content lately and a lot of you commented on the different types of things I add in with my dog's kibble and recently we have started adding homemade dog food in with their kibble to kind of make sure that they're getting all the nutritional values that they need kibble really doesn't hit everything that a dog needs in their system to be really really healthy um, so we've started adding this in on top of their kibble at dinner in the morning they get all kibble because we're going to work and we're really like busy and running around like crazy but at dinner time they get a tiny bit of kibble and then they get mostly this so we do want to still incorporate kibble into our dog's diet because we go out of town a lot um, we work full-time so this isn't convenient for us all the time um, we do use it every week but I do like to have kibble in their diet as well so when we have people watch them they don't have to worry about any of this they can just do kibble bone broth and like coconut oil or something or some blueberries and it's really simple for them they don't have to worry about all this so yeah I do want to mention that I did get this recipe from love Lexi Nicole here on YouTube I loved her video I'll go ahead and link it for you guys down below as well um, I changed it a little bit I just substituted the beef for turkey because I really like using turkey for mine over beef for my dogs because I use a bunch of different beef things in their diet as well so I want them to get an array of different proteins so yeah I did get this recipe from her I love that video she has such great um, dog homemade food recipes so I'll leave uh, the video that I watched down below so I do have two of the puppies here with me um, so if you do hear a little bit of noise in the background that is why but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you try it out for your dog I promise you your dog will love you for it uh, yeah just go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and without further ado let's just get into this video okay guys so to start I kind of want to go over everything that I add into the dogs homemade dog food give you guys like the full recipe and everything that you need so first I'm going to add one whole apple without the seeds or the core I've got three carrots here I only used two last time I didn't feel like there was enough carrots throughout the entire recipe so I'm adding three carrots I have washed both of these and I'm leaving the skin on the carrot it is fine as long as you wash it I've got one package of whole long grain brown rice that I'll be using one package is enough trust me I've got chopped frozen broccoli and cut green beans frozen you can use fresh if you want but frozen is really really convenient it's pre-washed I love using frozen like I said it's just so much more convenient and easy and then I have two packs of this 98% um, fat free ground turkey and then this I didn't realize they were different I have lean and extra lean so a good variety mix of two different meats and then also I've got two cups of water already portioned out and then a little bit of olive oil so that is everything that is in this recipe and then you're also going to need either a crock pot or an instant pot you can make this in the crock pot but it's just going to take like six to eight hours on high but i love the instant pot because it literally only takes 25 minutes it makes this whole entire making a homemade dog food so much more convenient because it really does not take that long and it doesn't take that much time and also this is fairly cheap like a lot of times people say well it's so much like it's so expensive to feed my dog like good food or feed them homemade dog food an apple's like a dollar the carrots were like maybe a dollar 99 cents for this rice these were maybe two or three dollars a piece and then the most expensive was this and they were four dollars a piece so it's really not that expensive and it really helps us like last our dog food a lot longer since we're mixing all this stuff in we don't have to feed them as much kibble and our dog food we feed purina pro plan um large breed adult i think or something like that and it's expensive and it really doesn't last us that long but this has helped us make our dog food last 10 times longer so now that we went all through that i'm going to start by chopping up my fruit and my vegetables so I've got carrots and the apple here and I'm going to start by cutting those up okay I'm going to start by chopping up my carrots and my apple I take, like to take the edges off um, but then I also um, leave the skin on the skin is fine for you to eat but I'm just going to cut this down the middle and dice it up I like to leave decent sized chunks it will get really soft in the pressure cooker so you can leave bigger chunks um, I prefer bigger chunks than smaller chunks so I'm just going to cut these up make sure they're actually cut all the way through just break them apart that one isn't cut all the way through and then this carrot is really big I've got this huge carrot so I thought it would go a long way you also instead of carrot you can substitute carrot for like sweet potato I really want to do that in a recipe 
one time. I have yet to do sweet potato. I've only done carrot so far, but you can do sweet potato, and I think that I would really like that as well. And then, like I said, for a meat, you can substitute um, turkey for beef um, based on your preference. Like I said, I like to add beef brown broth and then also like beef stew stuff from Stella and Chewy on top of my dog's kibble as well. So I don't like to do beef in their homemade dog food because I use a lot of beef in other aspects of their dog food. It is hard to cut a carrot fully in half. There we go. You can probably hear Griffin in the background. He's chewing on something. What are you chewing on? See a little bit of bigger chunks so I might slice those little. oh I lost one get it guys get it dogs actually really like carrots raw as well if you like to give those on a treat my favorite raw fruit um, treat for dogs is blueberries All right, now I have all the carrots done. I'm going to chop the apple. Like I said, make sure you get all the seeds out because seeds are really toxic to dogs, or the seeds are, and you don't want them getting sick from that. So to be safe, I just kind of go ahead and slice this out just to be safe that they're not getting any thing that they shouldn't be. chopped we are going to start putting everything in the instant pot so go ahead and get this planting out I thought I was going to put the fruit and veggies in this but I'm not going to use that one on the board. so there is a specific way you need to make sure you put all this in your instant pot just so it won't burn so I'm going to start by putting um the fruit and vegetable it's a carrot vegetable or a fruit I don't know but I'm going to start by adding in the carrots and apples to the Instant Pot. Make sure I don't spill any. Uh-oh, I think I already did. Probably why she put it in a bowl. Let me find my stragglers. Okay. All right, so I've got my carrots and apple mix in there and then Next, I'm going to add the green beans. Oh my god, I completely forgot you guys. You also need spinach. I put this in the freezer so it could freeze, so it would be um, a lot easier to pack in here. But yeah, you also need baby spinach. I am terrible at this. So add that to your list of ingredients. But next, I am going to just add in all of the vegetables. See this good, but we're gonna add the broccoli. Okay, this knife cut really well earlier. Now it doesn't want to cut plastic, that doesn't make sense. Okay, it's already getting pretty full, and at first you won't think this is gonna all fit. And it's not squeezed, but it all fits. So the reason I froze this is because it wilts down when it freezes. So you have, like, you can pack it down a lot easier in your Instant Pot so you can have room. I know in um, Lexi's video, she had a 10 quart Instant Pot. I only have a six quart Instant Pot. So it makes it a tight squeeze and she uses a lot more of each thing that I do, but spinach and next we're gonna do the rice. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Now I have rice grains everywhere. 
Wow, I am failing today. Okay, add the rice and then I'm just going to spread it out and then I've got some on the side and get the mess that I made. Like I said, I am a mess today. It isn't cooking with me though, unless I make a mess because I make a mess when I eat and when I cook. I'm just a messy person when it comes to food. And then lastly, I'm just going to add in the turkey meat. So you just plop that on top. And then you're gonna wanna pack it down with your hands. Really gross, but it allows you to fit everything in there.
let it sit. That'll eventually all battery out, basically. Okay, so I've basically got all the chunks of turkey broken up. So now I'm going to go grab a spoon and stir it up. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this spoon and kind of toss it. So you're getting carrots, green beans, the spinach, all that towards the top as well and not just on the bottom. Since we put that in first, you want to kind of get it really mixed up so you can kind of get all the different, did I spill that? <laughs> all of the different things in it. So it's pretty much mixed up and looks really good. So let me try to show you guys what it looks like without making a mess. I'm so good at doing that. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> that is really heavy. So, looks honestly really good and appetizing. I could eat it, I wouldn't, but I could. So now I just like to put it in one of these airtight containers. This will last me like a week for the dogs, but also will last a week still fresh and good. If you make a lot more than just a week, you'll have to freeze some and kind of, you know, thaw, thaw it out before you feed it to your dogs. Um, also, I know a lot of people are like, do you heat it up for your dogs? Do you leave it cold when you take it out of the fridge? So the only time they get it warm or heated is when it's fresh and if I'm feeding it to them right away. Um, if not, it goes in this and it goes in the fridge and they get it cold. Every time you heat something up, it actually kills off more of the nutritional value. So I never heat it up. Um, I think, I feel like they would prefer it cold anyway. So I'm just going to start transferring this into my Tumbleware, hopefully without making too big of a mess. And look right there, I've already dropped some. I don't want to lick it. <laughs> Even though it's like full, like human food, like you could eat all, everything that's in here. There's nothing that's strictly for dogs. It's still kind of odd, the idea of eating what you're feeding to, like your dogs. So, me and Matt have chickens. I'm going to be doing, hopefully, a chicken coop tour sometime soon but we ate the chicken's eggs for the first time this morning and it was just kind of weird like not eating them from the store like even though i know they're 10 times better than what you can get at the store even the organic ones you can get at the store it still kind of freaked me out eating them but i'll get used to it so this honestly makes quite a good amount too if i had one dog i could strictly feed them this like all week and have enough but since i have four dogs and like i said we really like to um still feed our dogs kibble for the convenience aspect of it you know when we have people come dog sit them or if we just really don't have time like in the mornings like i said in the mornings they literally just get kibble um because we just do not have the time in the mornings i mean i have to be at work at 7 30 i get up at 5 30 so we just do not have the time to make them a gourmet meal in the mornings um kibble's necessary for us but if you have the time and you want your dog to eat this all the time this is completely fine for you to feed your dog all the time and substitute of kibble i know that love like seeing nicole like i was telling you about, uh, guys about that i got this recipe from her dogs strictly eat this. They do not eat kibble. And she said she has seen a great deal of difference in her Yorkie's coat. She has one Yorkie that's older and then a golden doodle. The golden doodle's been on this recipe its whole time being with her. But she said the Yorkie um, really struggled with skin issues and he really wasn't at a healthy weight and he would throw up all the time and she switched him to strictly homemade dog food and he literally has put on weight and doesn't throw up anymore. So it's really good for dogs. So this is what it looks like really yummy really good and yeah so this made me quite a good bit um i really want to get the 10 quart instant pot eventually so i can make even more and it kind of lasts me even longer and i don't have to make it every single weekend but like i said it literally does not take that long you just prep the ingredients put it in and then 25 minutes in the instant pot on hot and then it is done 
super quick and easy not expensive at all like literally i think to make this it takes me less than 15 dollars so that's not bad at all and it really does help us reduce the amount of kibble we go through and like i said we go through kibble a ton and it is so expensive so yeah i really enjoy making this my dogs seem to love it um they go crazy over their food not time like literally they're jumping all over me um i did want to mention a few things that i do like to add though to my kibble um that i feed my dogs during the evenings, I don't have any of it here with me, obviously, because I'm at my mom's house. But for dinner, I really like to use a base of kibble. Um, you have to kind of be able to gauge how much to give, like, kibble to give your dog when you're adding stuff on top. Because obviously, they don't need their same amount of kibble um, when you're adding all this stuff on top. It's really hard. That's the hardest part I've found with this is knowing how much kibble to give them versus this. So, I'm not overfeeding them. But for the most part, um, they normally get, like, a scoop and a half each without anything. And then normally, they give, like three fourths a scoop with everything on top and then all my dogs my puppies i don't worry about as much because they're still growing but my bigger dogs i mean they're really healthy they're not overweight whatsoever so you just kind of have to play around with it and gauge what all your dog can handle and like if they're not finishing obviously you're giving them too much um so yeah i really enjoy this but other things that i like to add on top of my dog's kibble if you don't want to make this but you still really want to you know encourage your dog to be more excited at food time and my dogs when i give them just kibble um, they're not really excited, but I like to add bone broth, specifically beef broth, to my dog's kibble. Um, a lot of times I get the Stella and Chewy's brand. Other times I just get organic bone broth from the grocery store. I also like to do little freeze molds. I don't have them with me, but they're little molds that you can get off Amazon, and I like to put the bone broth in those and freeze them. I like to put coconut in those, um, peanut butter just for treats, and then I also really like to put pumpkin in that. Um, so I like to add those little toppings and then a lot of times I also add either Greek yogurt or plain regular yogurt and blueberries to their food and then sardines. So those are a few little toppings that I really like to add to my dog's kibble to spice it up as well as this homemade dog food that we made here together today. Um, I really like to keep it interesting for my dogs. I don't want them to get bored for so long. I just fed Indian Jagger kibble and they were just so bored with their food. They hated dinner time and this really just makes them super excited for dinner and it really is helping their coat. I've not noticed, especially with Indian significant amount of change in her coat and how shiny it is and her skin especially Jagger he had really bad skin issues so I love this I think it's really super easy and really affordable and anyone can do it um if you really care about your dog and love your dog not that you don't if you don't do this but if this is something you really want to get into I highly recommend starting with this recipe so that is it for this video I hope you guys really enjoyed it and really kind of got some inspiration for how to spice up your own dog's kibble it can be really hard and discouraging sometimes but I promise you once you get in the habit it's really not that bad and it's really not as expensive as you think so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below if any other dog videos you'd like to see. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.